Theatre sheds, Mickford workshops. Today, a little bit different. We're not going to learn a dance, but we're going to learn some physical storytelling. We're going to use our body to uh, show the story. Okay, so first of all, we need to get ready, we need to do a little warm up. This time, it's going to be a bit different again. Okay, so we're going to have a little mobilisation, we're going to move our joints, but then we're going to play a quick game. Okay, so first of all we're going to, if you're standing, make sure that your feet are hip width apart. And if you're sitting, the same. Okay, just going to tip our head to one side, leaning towards your shoulder as if you're leaning on a pillow. Try not to lift your shoulder, try to drop it down. Good. And then we're going to go to the other side. Dropping it down. Get a gentle stretch on your neck. And again. Over to that side. And the other one. Good. Drop your chin down to your chest. And to the centre. And again chin to your chest and to the center and one more chin to chest good we're going to move our shoulders now taking them round in a circle waking them up we're going to go the other way Good. we're going to make this a little bit bigger now so if it's accessible to you you can put your hands on your shoulders I'm moving around if it's better keep them like this if it's better do your whole arm you choose so waking up those arms those shoulder joints a little bit more and the other way Gonna wake up our feet a bit, so we're gonna turn one foot round in a circle. You might want to hold on to something. Go inside and the other way. We're turning that foot round in a circle. Lovely. Let's swap. So put that one down, and you're gonna use the other one. Take that foot round in a circle. Waking up the joints and the other way. So turn your foot round the other way. Lovely. Shake your feet out. We're going to turn our hands. So you've made little fists with your hands and turn them round in a circle. If fists aren't accessible to you, use open hands. Okay? And the other way. And the other way. And the other way. Good. We're just going to make our feet a little bit wider. So the same if you're sitting. We're going to bend our knees. And have a little stretch over the top while keeping hold of this leg. Good. And the other way. Lovely. And one more both sides. Good. Okay, we're ready to play our little game. This game has some words to it, okay? So we've got go and stop, first of all. So when I say go, you're going to go. When I say stop, you need to stop, okay? So we're going to move around when I say go. And stop when I say stop. Go. Stop. Stop. Go. Stop. Lovely. Easy. So the next thing is if I say down, 
I want you to do a movement that's down. Okay, you pick the movement. Maybe it's bending, maybe it's leaning, maybe one part of your body reaching down. Okay? And the same with up. If I say up, maybe all of you stretches as high as it can. Maybe you want to jump, maybe one part of your body decides to go up. So you pick. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Down. Go. Stop. Okay, this time, I want you to move like you're stuck in very sticky mud. Okay? Let's go. Down. Up. Go. We're still in the mud. Down. Oh. Now we're ready to learn our physical story. Today, we're going to tell the story of the three people. We're not going to use our voices. We're going to use our body. Okay, think about how you're going to use your facial expressions. Okay, how you're going to use your body and you're going to hunch over a bit, imagine you've got trotters, and imagine you just want to eat everything. Okay, so, let's see. Eats all the food, then looks at his brother. Brother looks back at him. I wonder if he wants to eat my food. And then the brother shovels the food in and he wipes the food off his face with his trotter. Then Got the fur pig. Just one. Waits a little bit. Head down. And then looks up. See? The mummy pig. Gonna have a little practice with that. Uh, from the top. That's it. Looks up. You see? So 
her mummy pig arrives and she's feeling very emotional she's feeling very sad and she looks at her children one two three you've eaten everything I went to the cupboards and opened them and there's nothing there and now I've got no money. So they are our mummy pig actions. Okay. And the three pigs, well, they cry. Then the mummy pig give them their bags. One, two, three, wave. Three pigs hold the bags, wave to mummy. Mummy waves and she's very sad. Blows her nose. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the three little pigs leave the house and go out into the forest. They set off, feeling all emotional, feeling alone. But they're not. One pig looks that way, looks that way, and realises his brother's there. So you put your hand out if you're holding on to your brother's hand. Carry on. And then suddenly, the pig feels another hand. It's the three brothers all together. So you're going to use your hands to show that the brothers are holding, holding trotters together. And carry on. Lovely. One pig has an idea. You know it, to build a house with straw. So you start collecting up the straw and tying it on to make a house. So we're going to collect and then tie and then tie. And we're going to go round the house in a kind of circular shape. Okay, so we're going to go straw, straw, tie. Hi. Draw, draw, tie, tie. Make your actions big. If you make them tiny, you might get lost. See the whole story to share the story. Okay? Draw, draw, tie, tie. Draw, draw, tie, tie. Then, there's the roof of the house. Tie bits down on the roof. Lovely. Then that pig feels really happy. Gonna get her picnic blanket, shake it out, sit on the picnic blanket, open his bottle, and have a drink. Our second pig is going to push the tree down. Push. Get out your saw and you're going to put your foot on the tree and you're going to saw a bit off the tree. Lovely. Then you're going to use your hammer to knock 
So. Underwater zoo. Where to go now? Remember, four. Make sure that your roofs are. Hold a brick with one hand, so you're going to hold a brick with one hand, and you're going to hold the trowel with the other. So brick and trowel, you're going to wipe the cement on, and then stick your brick down. Pick up another brick, wipe the cement on, and stick that down. So I think we've got eight of those to make the house brick, wipe, place it. And then the last one, we're going to put on the roof. Brick, cement, white, roof. Lovely. Open the door, shake the blanket out, sit down, and the pig in the brick house has tea. So they've all got different drinks. The first was a bottle, the second was a big glass, and the third is tea. So we're going to practice that final pig building his house. Pick up your bricks. Pick up your trowel. Wipe the cement on. Stick it on. Brick. Down. That's it. We build. got a cool wolf and I think he's great. Turn his collar up like this. So the wolf turns his collar up like this and he's going to take some steps forward. 
So remember, your body needs to be different up higher. It's cool. It's pouncy. Yeah, so it's a different use of your body. So, wool flicks his collar. He does some walks. Oh, he has an idea. And he gives the straw house a little shake. So we do collar, walk, walk, shake the straw house. All right, shake the straw house. And then we need to become the pig again. And the pig would be very scared. So you need to use your body, bring your shoulders up, your hands up and use your face expressions to show how the pig's feeling, okay? And the pig runs out the next door. Blows. This house is easy for the wolf. So when you show it's relaxed, okay? So, wolf. Pig's gone. Never mind. Doesn't matter. It's always the next house. Right. Wolf blows again. Two pigs inside now. I'm very scared. And what do they do? They run out next door. The wolf blows and the house falls down. Finally, the wolf comes to the last house made of bricks. Still feeling cool. Yeah, and he browse along to the final house. Your hand to knock on the door. Now, it's important when we're thinking about an audience that we don't hide things from the audience. So we want to use this hand so the audience can see knocks on the door, rise to blow down the house. These are stones. This is harder. The wolf has to blow really hard. The wolf puts so much effort in, <coughs> but a bark comes out. <gasps> The wolf's still cool. Look from the other side. This little pig gets a big pot and puts it on the fire and stirs it. Mm -hmm. So we put our pot up, we get our spoon and we stir. Good. Next with a wolf again. We have an idea and we're going to climb up, up, up the house. So, get your paws ready, climbing up, up, up to the roof. We're so cool. We, we flick our collars again and we're going to jump down the chimney. We land in the pot and it's very, very hot. The wolf, that's his bottom, so you use your hands on your bottom and use your facial expressions to show that it's very painful. The wolf gives up. So we give up. We just want to go home. So we try and walk. We try and be cool. And we leave. Ooh. Then we're going to be the pigs again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. Third little pig is in the middle. <sighs> feeling happy, feeling proud. Takes his teapot. Pause for the brother over there. Pause for this brother here. Then you need to pour yourself on in the middle. Put your teapot down and pick up your, tea, your cup and saucer and drink. With your two brothers having a look to one side, having a look to the other side to show that they are there. Good, lovely. So you're going to practice that bit. With the pigs merrily waving to each other drinking their tea, all their drinks, but prowls in, aha, shake the full head, pig scared, Ooh. and then they go easy. Growling the brick house. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh. Another bit is more Remember to use your facial expressions. Pink me, Miles. Get your teeth off, remember? Brother that side. The brother this side. The yolk up in the middle. story all the way through. Remember to add on all the bits, the usual body to show the story, the usual facial expressions. First thing.
Ready for the roof. in your book. Take it on. Building your house with your bricks and your cement. Make sure you get high up. brothers are happy so you drink your drinks and you wave to each other very happy but get ready Mr Wolf is on his way the prowling walks Please destroy the house. Take. And this is easy. Running. 
hope it comes over as a brick house. difficult.